my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today I have a book talk video for you guys and the book we are going to be talking about is Victoria by Daisy Goodwin. This book was published in November of 2016 and it is about the 1837 ascension to the throne of Alexandrina Victoria who went by Queen Victoria. Now this is an interesting story. It, um, it's about a very, very young queen. Her uncle dies, um, I think like three months after her 18th birthday, and she is next in line to rule England. Now the thing about her, she has led a very, very sheltered life. Her mom um, and her mom's sort of advisor kept her very hidden away from the world. In their eyes, you know, they were kind of protecting the heir to the throne. And in doing so, they just really left her with no life experience. So she's just kind of thrust into the spotlight. And once she gets there, she decides that she's not going to be anybody's puppet anymore. She is not going to do what she is told. She is the Queen of England, and she is going to be the Queen of England. <laughs> so this girl, she's, she's, physically, she's very slight. She's very small. She's less than five feet, just very tiny. Um, she's very innocent. She doesn't know how anything works. And she's, she's annoying in that way that um, comes from naivete. And it's just, at times you're like, oh my god, like what, what is she doing? But at the same time, like she's doing the best that she can. So the one thing that really works out to be a big plus for her at the beginning of her reign is the prime minister at the time whose name was Lord Melbourne, he was a big help to her and he helped kind of guide her without pushing her. So he would tell her what he thought was best and allow her to take those facts and make up her own mind. And because of that, he became a very, very trusted advisor and close friend to her. And she loved him for the way that he allowed her to kind of grow on her own, never making her feel as though she was less than. Because, especially, I mean, we're talking 1837, a lot of the people who had high positions of power who were having to deal with this very young, very innocent queen um, were men, and they were kind of rolling their eyes at her. And at one point, you know, they want to try to declare her insane so that a regent could be assigned and things would not be left up to her. But um, that didn't happen, and Lord Melbourne was a big reason because of that. So once she kind of secures her footing, um, proving to people that, okay, she's not insane, she can be a queen, she's starting to win the affections of her public, um, it kind of becomes decided that she needs a husband, not, not, she doesn't decide this, everyone else does. And, um, for her, she kind of thinks, well, maybe she could be like, um, the prior Queen Elizabeth, who was dubbed the Virgin Queen, who had a long and successful reign. She kind of thinks, well, maybe I could be like that and not get married. Um... But that, that's not seen to be the best thing, and then... There are various um, men with whom people want her to marry, and how it works is a man cannot propose to the queen. She has to be the one to do the proposing of marriage. So she's just, she's not really feeling it. The forerunner of these men is her cousin Albert. Um, and he's kind of everything that she isn't. He's very serious, kind of stuffy. She likes to dance and be social and have fun. And he just, he doesn't have really room for that in his life or so he thinks. So, yeah, that's the basic story. I don't want to give too much away about the ending. But yes, the, a lot of the context for this book was taken from Victoria's own diaries, which is really nice. 
And actually, after I finished reading it, I found out that Daisy Goodwin also, I think, created and wrote a series for ITV, also called Victoria, that's based on the same um, the same material. So I'll be really interested to see that. I'm not sure if it's a mini series or like a full series, but um, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. And if you've seen it, I'd love to know what you thought. Or if you've read the book, I would also love to know what you thought. I'm a big, big fan of historical fiction. I, uh, I just love it. I love reading about those times. I love reading about the Tudors. I just, I love it all. So there we go. Next up, I've got a couple more shout outs. I thought that I would do these in the book talk videos. Um, I've got, I did three last time and I'm going to do three again today. So um, all the channels that I mentioned, I'm going to put their links in the description down below. And I really, really hope that you go and check them out. Take a look at their content. If you like what you see, give them a subscribe and uh, tell them that I sent you. So I've got the names written down just so I don't forget or say them wrong. The first off is actually a very, very special shout out. My sister, Kelly, started her own YouTube channel. It's um, a beauty channel. Uh, she does beauty reviews. Um, it's, it's very new. She's got, I think, two or three videos up right now. So go and show her some support. Let her know that I sent you. And hopefully I'll get her on this channel within the next few weeks and we'll do a collab and you can kind of see her in action a bit. Next up is Rima's Fashion Studio. I absolutely love Rima. She is just the sweetest. I love um, watching her videos. She is such a supportive, sweet woman that um, I definitely, definitely recommend you go and check out her channel. And finally, this is a new friend of mine. Her name, or her channel name is Storms Are Here. She's just a wonderful lady. Her content always makes me smile. I love when I see that she's posted a new video. She's just the cutest, and she's got this thing going now where she has this little teddy bear named Stormy, and she is sending him out to friends in the world for him to spend a few days with them and maybe be in one of their YouTube videos and it's just it's such a cute project so I definitely recommend you go and check her out tell her that I sent you and yeah I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday